Yes. It's still. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean. Her. Keeping it real. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Steven and this is Steel Keeping It Real. So it is Friday, but it's I'm doing something different than the female Friday this week. So Sonic dropped their album uh, a day ago. So I am doing the songs that I haven't already reviewed uh, now. So uh, if you still are interested and you stay tuned, please don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button and the notification button because I'm doing at least 15 videos each and every week. So the next song I'm going to do is called Blast Off. Now, after the last song, after last night, that it, it's going to be hard because it's like leave the door open and then uh, after last night and then uh, I can't remember the one that I said was really funky, uh, but there's that one. And let's see if Blast Off can beat any of those. So I'm keeping these short and trying to get through them before I have to go to bed because I have to get up at 8.30 tomorrow. So, without any further ado, let's get into Silk Sonic and Blast Off. And here we go. Sensation starting right now
sending love from up above. Happy trails, Baba. All right, put Bootsy on the tail of that song. Now, I will say that um, Blast Off might be the fourth best song to me. Um, it was a little bit more relatable because it, this one sounded a lot like Earth, Wind & Fire. Uh, that song, you got me in and out of my mind. That song. I can't remember what that song is, but I, I can't always remember certain titles. I just, if I hear a song, I'll, I'll know what it is. Um, and then, um, and then there's that guitar solo, which there wasn't a lot of guitar solos in, 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 in uh, R&B back in the 70s. It did happen in the 80s. And so, even though this sounded like some earth, wind, and fire, with all the keyboards in this, and then when it took it off to that, that other ethereal place towards the end where it just dropped the whole beat and dropped every other instrument except for a keyboard and their harmonies that was tending to lean towards the late 70s early 80s you know you got the you, it, it was like you know it's like it was black yacht rock that's what that that's what this was you could play this while you're out in the sun you know just chilling um and it would be okay and there's a whole category called yacht rock and when i heard that i was like i had never been on a yacht ever in my life and yet i hear this song why, why do they get to take it and those are just the 70s songs songs from the 70s maybe early 80s uh more like mid 70s early 80s that are just those feel good kind of not hard um softer uh, rock music, you know, like an Ambrosia, like a Boss Skaggs, like um, Kenny Loggins, things like that. Um, but I do know with the fact that, you know, people like Ohio Players and Earth, Wind and & Fire and the Bar Kays and, and uh, Parliament Funkadelic, they did have some guitar solos in their music, but it wasn't as prevalent as you would think. Not as prevalent as it was in the 80s. In the 80s, you could not have a hit if it didn't have a guitar solo or a saxophone solo. Those two, that was it. Everything else in the song could be great, but if you didn't have one of those, uh-uh. And the record company probably said like, you need something else. You need to put a guitar solo in there. Uh, that's that's all I got to say. I, I did like that song and putting Bootsy on the tail. Always a good idea. He just got that voice. Um, I remember I had this album, uh, Jesse Johnson, and it was Jesse Johnson and Bootsy Collins, and the song is called Crazy for You, um, and it's a great song. It's a great funky song. Jesse Johnson used to be part of the time. And so um, I think a lot he gets, um, he is a underrated member of the time. Because you got Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, you got Morris Day, and then you have Jesse Johnson, and then you have the guy who's always uh, Jerome. Then you have Jerome um, hey, in everybody's band, you know, me. back in the day. But Jesse Johnson was a great guitarist. So, thank you for tuning in. I know I did a little bit of rambling there. Um, hit my 750 on to 1,000 by New Year's Eve. And I just need you guys' help. And all you need to do is like, subscribe, share, and comment. Peace.